I like the story of how baseball came to Arizona. Uh, it began with a guy, uh, kind of an irre irreverent uh, fellow named Bill Veck. Uh, he was a World War II Marine, Marine lost his part of his, his foot in the Pacific, and part of his leg, I mean, in the Pacific, and uh, came back, uh, and by 1947, he owned the Cleveland Indians. And Bill Veck uh, uh, wanted to bring an African-American player up to be the first one in the American League. His name was Larry Doby. Um, the year before, they brought Jackie Robin. The Dodgers had brought up Jackie Robinson in the National League, and they'd had a lot of trouble down there in Florida over that. Uh, so um, um, Vec thought, "Let's go to Arizona. We'll be treated better in Arizona." And um, and so uh, he went to uh, uh, Horace Stoneham, the owner of the New York Giants and talked Stoneham into coming to Phoenix, and Vec came to Tucson. And so the Giants, New York Giants, came to Phoenix, and the Cleveland Indians came to uh, Tucson. And for the next several years, those were the teams. And um, uh, I'm not going to uh, uh, try to do a cover-up and say uh, blacks were, 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 uh, were always treated uh, uh, act, uh, you know, equally out here, uh, but I think that's something we could be proud of that 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 they the major league the American League brought um, uh, the the first Ameri American League team out here because they 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 had a black player and they knew he would not be there would not be the hate the bigotry that went on in Florida.